The recent increase in loss severities is more likely a trend reversal than an anomaly, at least in the short term. And one of the main drivers is the increase in liquidation timelines. The timelines that continue to extend, and with longer timelines, you have higher costs associated with the liquidation of the loan for the trust. In 2012 and much of 2013, when home prices were really taking off, the home price growth was offsetting some of the costs associated with longer timelines. And we actually saw severities decrease about 5% from their peak in early 2012. But with home prices starting to cool down and timelines continuing to extend, we don't think there's going to be too much more improvement in 2014 for, for severities. Um, but in the, long, in the long term, we do think uh, timelines are going to decrease down to their long-term average, and severities uh, will decrease. Well, we're seeing the greatest increase in liquidation timelines in states that have judicial foreclosure uh, processes, such as uh, Florida, New York, New Jersey. And actually, in non-judicial states, uh, we're starting to see timelines uh, level off. Another interesting trend we're seeing is a decrease in the volume of short sales over the last year. And we think that's tied to the home price gains as well as interest rate increases. I mean, a short sale, the servicer allows the borrower to sell the property on his own for less than the mortgage amount. And that typically results in shorter timelines and uh, lower loss severities. And so with the decrease in short sales, we think that's contributing to longer timelines and, and higher severities. In most RMBS transactions, the servicer is obligated to advance delinquent principal and interest payments to the extent that they deem them recoverable at liquidation. Now, all things being equal, the less the servicer advances, the lower the severity is going to be at liquidation since the trust doesn't have to uh, reimburse the servicer as much. Now, since the start of the crisis, we've seen advancing rates fall uh, with home prices. And only recently, we've seen that trend reverse. Home prices have gone up and advancing rates have started to increase. Now, that could mean one of two things. Like I said, all things being equal, more advancing will translate to higher severity. But the fact that the servicers are advancing more could also mean that they think severities are going to go down in the future.